Don't come to Singapore without watching this video. If you're traveling to Singapore or if you even want to move here, this one is for you. And I'm especially recording this video for some people who might think they know everything, but trust me, they don't. So number one, Singapore is really a fine city. And for everyone who now thinks, okay, but I mean, they're not gonna find me for like these really small things out there, they're wrong. And why that is, I will tell you at the end of the video. But first of all, the most important rules are really don't import anything that is not allowed. They are very strict at the airport and they even scan some of the suitcases and because for example, my uncle visited last week and when he opened his suitcase, the, th the stuff was not as how he packed it. So there was someone going through his stuff, checking his belongings. And there are these small fines. For example, don't bring any food into the MRT. This is something, for example, in a lot of European countries, this is very normal to bring water and drink, um, drink some soft drinks in the MRT or have some snacks. You cannot do this in Singapore. You will get a fine up to $500. Don't jaywalk, so don't cross the road when it's red. Don't feed the monkey when you're going on a hike. This costs you $5,000. Um, obviously don't steal, but the, this is not the things I mean. It's I think it's really about the small things. Don't smoke when you're not allowed. Really make sure that you, you stick to the rules because they're, Singapore's eyes are everywhere, especially since they have CCTVs on every corner. So Singapore's watching you. Number two, and this is bad news for everyone out there who likes to party and drink because alcohol is very expensive. If you're going out, a cocktail can cost you up to $25. A beer is between 10 and 15 and when clubbing you usually have to buy um, like pay for a whole bottle and then this is, can cost you easily up to $500 so yes maybe drink water it's better for your hangover as well number three a lot of tourists don't know about this but when you're eating out at a restaurant you don't have to give additional tips so a 10 percent service charge is already included at the end of the bill you can really like see it on the bill written 10 percent service charge of course you can tip your waiter if you really like this the restaurant but it's it's not really a common thing to do here not as like for example in the us where they would run after you if you don't give enough tip this happened to us when we were in new york we left the store and we didn't give enough tip and then they basically came and chased chase us this won't happen to you here i mean it's nice as i mentioned but it's definitely not a must. Number four, everything is almost cashless. So you can go around by using your credit card wherever you go. For example, if you use the MRT, instead of buying a card and top it up with cash, you can just tap your credit cards and then tap your credit card when you leave the MRT again. Same for bus. You only need cash when you, for example, go to Hawker Center. Some of the stalls, they only take pay now, which is a, a an app, but as a foreigner, you probably don't have that. So you should bring cash. Um, yeah, just to, just to be sure, always have a, a little bit of cash with you then nothing can happen and you don't miss out on the good food. Number five, check public holidays. Singapore has a lot of public holidays, especially as there are so many different cultures combined in Singapore. They celebrate everything, which is nice for the people working here as they get more days off. But as a tourist, you might want to check out in advance when they are. For example, for Chinese New Year, everything is very crowded around Chinatown and also a lot of restaurants are closed and also services like massage places or manicure are might closed or the prices are just um, a lot higher. Also for hotels, might be a bit more expensive. The pro side is that you see, especially for Chinese New Year, see a lot of festives, festive activities going on. They have drone shows, they have parades, they have special activities. So this might be interesting for you to see. So just check in advance if there's something going on. Number six, the weather. And for me, probably this doesn't really matter because I always loved the heat wherever I traveled. But I think a lot of tourists coming from cold places, they're not used to the humid weather. The humidity is up to 90% and even by standing in the shadow, you might starting to sweat. So always have a bottle of water with you. Wear a sun hat, even though you don't feel the sun burning on you. There's, it's most of the days it's clouded in Singapore. So you don't think that you need, a, need sunscreen, but just to make sure to apply sunscreen every single day. I know I sound, your, sound like your mom, but I didn't do it in the beginning and I kind of regretted it. I feel like my skin has gotten really bad. So I really start to apply sunscreen every single day. Number seven, shopping malls. And this is something until today I don't fully understand. But Singapore is consists of shopping malls. Wherever you go, there's a shopping mall with a food court, with lots of stores. You can basically find anything in a shopping mall. When you feel lost, just ask for the next shopping mall and try not to get lost in them because I do regularly. They're quite big sometimes. And 
but yeah at, in there you can find help you can find atms you can find all you, all you need so just go to a shopping mall and their aircon if you're feeling a bit hot and you need a break from the heat as mentioned before number eight public transport is very very efficient don't be scared to use mrt to use buses they're very clean they're very safe they're they're also like your mrt is coming every two to three minutes in rush hours so you don't have to wait long it's very fast and then also grab if you're really tired and you don't want to walk anymore ordering a grab is quite affordable for small distances you pay around 10 singapore dollars which is around 7 us dollars so very affordable not as in switzerland where you pay at least 50 dollars for like five minutes this is very very convenient okay now to the story that i mentioned in the beginning of the video a lot of people say well singapore has so many fines but actually i never got caught or never heard anyone getting a fine it's not true my mom is visiting me here in singapore and she likes to smoke a cigarette once in a while or a few times a day and it's often not really easy to find a place where it's allowed to smoke so she thought okay yeah nobody's really gonna watch me no she got caught on the second day and she had to pay a fine of 250 dollars which is still okay considering that it can cost up to 1000 if you don't have your passport with you she was supposed to go to the police station with them but then she had a passport and then she could find a, she could just get, pay the bill online so you get fined if you don't stick to the rules Hit me up for any other questions you have around Singapore and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!